before time added my MySpace. Kinda out the way when winter hit, I'm finna migrate. What's up guys, it's your boy Tuskets here and I just want to say sorry for not streaming and uploading consistently for so long. I literally just moved to a new place as you guys can see. Um, but with that being said, I finally got internet today so streams, Formula Drift tournaments are going to be coming back and upload should be coming out way more consistently than they have. I just want to say sorry for that. But I got a surprise for you guys because you know I have been gone for a minute so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my um my flash ultimate drift setup so if you guys enjoy this video make sure to drop a like subscribe and turn on post notifications for pc players the livery and tune download will be in the description if you guys have kino mod you can go ahead and download the links or download um the files through the links that i have down below in the description and then just install it through kino if you guys don't have kino mod i literally just made a video on how to install kino mod the other day so if you guys haven't seen that video make sure to go check it out but with that being said, everyone should be on the new update for car extra frisking online, which means they've changed the catalog for the car. So all you want to do to find this car is go to all and then scroll down in the second row and you'll see it right here next to the Kitsune and the Spark ZR. Once you have the car, I did do a swap on this car. I did a 2JZ swap and I fixed the bogginess on it a little bit. A lot of people were saying like all you had to do is lower the torque in the engine tune settings so that it wouldn't bog so much in second gear and that's what i did and like the car honestly drives like way better so i really hope you guys like this tune man doing something different um once you have the car and the swap the next thing you want to do is go ahead and install a body kit <clears throat> the body kit i have is the cbw kit i have the stock gt front lights the slide performance front bumper the custom performance hood the rnt roof the stock side mirrors, the custom performance roll cage, the CBW side skirts, the stock trunk, the CBW rear bumper, the RNT spoiler, the street taillights, the CBW exhaust, I have the R Corp seats in the car, the mono steering wheel, <clears throat> the I ready shifter or handbrake, I should say. And then for the shifter, we have the racing parts shifter. If you guys want to know what wheels I'm running, I have this wheel on the front it's been a while since i've like messed with this car so i don't know what wheel i have on the back but if you guys know what category it's in go ahead and comment that down below in the comment section but that's basically all you want to do grab the car get the swap get a body kit head to the dyno stand once you're in the dyno, the dyno stand your front spring length is going to be 12 rear is going to be 11 your front spring stiffness is going to be 105 rear is going to be at 95 your first three front dampers are going to be at 6000 your first three rear dampers are going to be at 4500 your fourth front damper rebound is going to be at 7,000. Your fourth rear damper rebound is going to be at 5,500. Front toe negative 0.40. Rear toe is going to be at 0.35. Mine's on 0.36. Let me see if I can fix it. Okay, 0.35. Front camera at negative 5.87. Rear camera at 0.07. If you guys want to increase it a little bit, feel free to do so. But I try to keep this car like pretty smooth, so I didn't give it too much positive rear camera. For the front, your wheel bar is going to be 20. Rear is going to be at 18. Caster at 6.5. If you feel like you're getting too wide, you can always turn that down a little bit. Ackerman angle at 28%. And then your steering axis offset is going to be at 12 millimeters. And your kingpin angle inclination is going to be at 8 degrees. For your max steering angle, it's going to be at 65 degrees. For the wheels, your front and rear rim diameter are going to be 18. Front and rear tire width 285. Front tire pressure 98. Rear tire pressure 78. Front and rear wheel adhesion are going to be at 100. Front wheel track 9. Rear base 4. Front and rear tire profile 35 percent for the engine pay close attention usually i tell you guys to turn it all the way up to max but like i said at the beginning of the video the 2jz does bog at low rpm so to kind of like you know to kind of balance out the power band <clears throat> i've turned down the max torque all the way to five all the way down to five thousand so that's all you guys got to do turn the max torque down to five thousand everything else feel free to turn it up all the way this car makes 1020 horsepower with max torque at 5811 foot pounds of torque but if you turn it up you can get a little bit more power if you want to find like maybe a balance or somewhere where it doesn't bog but you can turn it up a little bit feel free to do that but just to be safe i'm gonna keep mine down as low as possible for the transmission type it's going to be sequential differential type is going to be viscous limited slope differential your diff lock ratio is going to be at 100 your final drive is going to be at 3.85 your one 3.15 your two 1.34 your three 1.17 your four 1.07 Gear 5 1.01 and gear 6 is going to be at 0 0.97. For the brakes, your brake torque is going to be 3,500. <clears throat> Farmic bias 70%, ABS no, launch control tandems no. 
all right so now that you guys have the full tune we're gonna do this just like any other video i'm gonna head over to the room list find a multiplayer lobby see if i can hit some tandems and then we'll wrap up video just want to say one more time thank you guys for tuning in today make sure to drop a like subscribe and turn on post notifications and also share this video but we're loaded in on east toge it looks like we got a few people up here somebody else just loaded in too <clears throat> got a few people coming back from a run right now i'm not sure if these guys are running but i'm just gonna jump behind whoever's running uh the line and then see if i can get a good clean chase and i also want to see how fast this car is compared to other cars too so yeah let's check it out man here we go Let's we'll see who's going to lead. They might make me lead. I don't know. They always make me lead. I don't, I'm not saying like they force me to, but if no one goes and then I go and everyone just follows me. So like I always end up leading. See, like no one's going to go. And then watch as soon as I go. Okay, wait, no, we got somebody that actually went. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. So we got dope swag. One, two, three in the lead. He's kind of like taking off though. So it's looking like I might be leading. That guy just tried to overtake me. Didn't really work. All right, here we go. Let me see if I can catch up to dope swag. One, two, three. I don't even know if his line is chaseable or not. Looks like he's got a pretty chaseable line though, so get behind this door. Okay, yeah, he's got a pretty chase. Oh, he's about to hit the rail. I'm just gonna go ahead and overtake. Yeah, I'm just gonna end up leading. It happens every time. I'm leading. Every single time, bro. It never fails. I always end up leading, so. Okay, it looks like he's trying to maybe take over the lead again, so I'm gonna just let him. Actually, no, no, no. He's trying to chase me. He's trying to chase me. I'm just let him chase. I'm gonna let him chase. Alright, cool, cool. So this car actually isn't slow. I'm not sure what Dub Swag's build or what swap he has. Um, I'm not sure what build he has or what swap he has, but he did take off a little bit at the beginning. He could have like a V8 or something, or maybe like a three liter V6, I'm not sure. But this car does seem pretty quick because I'm like leaving everybody in the lobby. So I mean, shit, I don't know. But let me know what you guys' thoughts about the speed of the car and how good it is at tandeming down below in the comment section once you use the car and get like a feel for it <clears throat> all right another thing too that's really really dope about this car is i know like after the recent update a lot of cars haven't been able to hit the jump drift really smooth or like clean um because you have to have your suspension settings like literally set up perfect for the jump which could like alter how your car performs on like certain tracks but for some reason after i made like a few adjustments to the suspension on this car um, it still hits the East Toge jump drift like really, really clean. All you gotta do is like turn into it and it'll hit it like really nice. So I'll show you guys that before we wrap up this video. Wish I had room to transition. That'd be really nice, not gonna lie. All right, here we go, here we go. <clears throat> Reverse 360 out of the pits. We're gonna go for the jump drift now. Three, two, one. As you guys can see, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, it was pretty clean. I'm gonna do one more though. I'm gonna do one more. I was like a little too far, a little too far to the right, but let me see if I can do one more and make it look a lot cleaner. Cause I did like two or three before I even recorded the video and they were all like really, really nice. The first one had to get a feel for it. The second and third one were like really, really good. So, <clears throat> you got Nutty Nut behind us. <laughs> it's a funny name. All right, coming down. See right here, like in like really, really small hairpins, that's the only place you really have to worry about it bogging. But as you guys can see there, I didn't even have to use the clutch and it still didn't bog. So um, with the torque all the way down, you guys should be good. So here we go. Yeah, just like that. Like I said, it hits the jump really, really smooth. It literally just floats right over it. So with that being said, man, this has been your boy, Ty Skates, playing Karks for Fishing Online. And today I showed you guys my Flash 2JZ 100 Adhesion Ultimate Drift Setup. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I've said already, man, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and drop a like on the video. We're literally right around the corner from 80k, and then after that, we're going for the big 100, and hopefully, I'll be able to get a plaque. So, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I'll drop some when I stop and go. Made us hip hop, try to go against the rock and roll. It's a party everywhere, gonna be dominoes. All you gotta say is money and I'm popping up. Blood all under my shoes, it's a slaughterhouse gang in this bitch. That's a group of three or more people.